Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the 10th chapter of Volkswagen car modeling in Maya. So, continuing from the last chapter, we have already created the back uh, hood, the trunk area. I've just uh, recreated the edges to reposition as we have uh, made some real great changes, added some edges and everything. So, I'm just uh, reconnect those or rearrange those uh, vertices I used a slide edge ring a slide edge tool to greatly for this series and I really love this uh, tool this is very useful to uh, maintain the cut flow and with the volume of the surface so just like that just uh, that's it so just to make sure your shapes are coming nice for creating the edges uh, we need to uh, readjust the other parts of the model also so I'll move on move left this uh, this portion uh, right here and I'll just create the outline of that uh, back portion of the car so I'll just create another extra edges to maintain that flow uh, just uh, make sure the the edges uh, should continue along with the surface. This is the this is where the trunk actually been closed. So I need to uh, maintain that flow from the main body of the car. So just. Uh, create some manual cuts with the split polygon tool right there fine just it delete those in between edges so this is my rough uh, outline of that particular portion I just, uh, just again I just put some real extra cuts to make sure that uh, the surface is coming nicely fine so this is this is the cut flow actually I have been created uh, for my uh, own way and now I have to maintain the the quad calculations over there because they're this been completely messed up so I'll just remove those extra edges and see that part has been uh, taken care of and now we'll move on to the this part just to add extra, extra delete those extra faces again I'm just uh, fine so that's how we how we can really just delete this uh, remove these edges fine I just, there is another triangle and I have to remove these uh, extra cuts fine so now we can we have already uh, cleaned up those uh, messed up area and now move on to the uh, window we have already created that uh, the inner part of the window now we'll create the supportive area so just push this a bit outward so that fine now I have already uh, created that uh, window shape on my previous chapter So I'll uh, just uh, move on to you know, refine those edges. Select and slide edge tool. And just uh, slide those all the edges to desired positions. like that and we adjust those vertices according to my design plan just push it so just scale and move it upwards so 
I have uh, already adjusted the uh, refine the edges of the window. Just make sure from the perspective view. Split a ring tool and create another supporting edge from in between. Just unhide. And now I'm going to uh, refine the inner side of my car body. This version to maintain the cuts. I mean the flow. So extrude that inside. So to make the thickness. Insert split polygon tool to just make sure that the vertex has its own workflow. Cool. So give some supporting edge for the for the roof as uh, so a window post and so that's it you just pull it just to delay this part and I just recreate those shapes because uh, I just have to make sure that the shape we created at the exactly in the same position of my window as this is the connected part you can see the I move on to the front door section I'll, I'll leave that uh, window just to uh, consider the door and the door post select those face and duplicate it let's mark those vertex as I combine these two Fine. select this uh, one and just uh, take the edges just give it a, a rough outline to just uh, make sure that Everything is in within this selections area, and I just uh, hide this option right now. So, create the supporting edge, combine, and mark those vertices also over there. So, now I'll just concentrate on the front door part. And here you can see there's a multiple, I need some cuts over there. So I'll just make sure that the cuts has been continued towards the edges. Just to manually pull those outside. I need to make this a bit thickness because it's really freaked it up and it's very thin. So add some extra cuts to maintain that shape. And this portion need to be cut off. So just put some extra edges. Fine, so I have to adjust over there. This portion is need some adjustment over there. Yeah. So I just uh use some split edge wing sorry, split polygon tool and manually create some cuts. Fine. So that my uh, selection, uh, the, the cut flow doesn't hamper. Cool. Edges, vortex. Just make sure. See, delete those edge to maintain that cut flow. Here I have a triangle. Is the I need to care take care of that. Just readjusting the front fender part. Just saw that, so it's moving towards that. We're not going to create some really, you know. So slide those edges and just, uh, just look 
over there so I got my eyes over there <coughs> Whenever you find something is wrong in your model, you can uh, always check over that area first. It always happened to the modelers, so just hide the rest of the models. And I need some supportive cut over there. Here, I need some adjustment. So select the edges and say move. And I also remove that edge. So that's how I, I remove that uh, multiple edges or inside it polygons. Okay, now push those a bit inside. Cool. Let's readjust uh, whenever you wanted to readjust your. Just pull the posts, posts uh, on the outside. Also for the, the mid of the doors to make that uh, bulge or the curvature. Just, just uh, select the inside. Oops, uh, there is some leakage out there. Just merge those vertices. Select. Oops, I think there is. Yes, so see, there's, there's some extra vertex and everything. So select this inside edge and just extrude them into inside. And also uh, do the same. Uh, just to make sure that uh, you'll create that front part of the window. Just delete and merge the vertices. Watch for text tool. Fine. So, and you have to fill that uh, gap because there is no uh, hole over there. So, just delete those inside faces and select this cuts and fill hole. So, that's how uh, we have uh, created that uh, front door part of our model. I'll just uh, leave. Uh, this chapter over here. Hope you enjoy this and thank you very much.